And now for some international news. After Liz Truss's resignation, the race for 10 Downing Street is back on. The apparent frontrunner front runners in the race are Conservative MP Rishi Sunak and former Prime Minister Boris Johnson. But the only one to announce their candidature so far is Penny Mordaunt, who is currently the leader of the House of Commons. Now, several Conservative MPs have endorsed Sunak, while two ministers have openly supported Boris Johnson's return as the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. My colleague Sanjay Suri tells us more. Take a look. Support for Rishi has begun to rise quite steadily now within the Conservative Party. The latest heavyweight to come up in support of Rishi Sunak is Sajid Javid, the former Health Secretary and briefly former Chancellor as well. And he has said that Rishi has what it takes, that the country needs economic stability, it needs the hard right decisions to be taken and that Rishi is the man to take it. Uh, Sajid Javid has had a bit of a checkered past when it comes to support for Rishi Sunak. Uh, he resigned almost together with Rishi Sunak earlier from Boris Johnson's government, but uh, then went on to back Liz Truss against uh, Rishi Sunak in that last campaign, which was, of course, not that long ago. But there are other heavyweights now uh, in uh, support of Rishi Sunak. Former Deputy Prime Minister uh, Dominic Rabb is backing uh, Rishi Sunak, as is Christine Blunt, the um, MP whose statements strongly against uh, Liz Truss began to precipitate her downfall. He was very uh, vocal against her and he led a campaign and that was the starting of the pressure against Liz Truss. Then on we had uh, Angela Richardson again, a very influential member from Guildford backing Arish Sunak. She did so the last time round as well. As far as the tally goes and the tally is really a number based on public declarations of support. Uh, that shows that uh, Rishi Sunak has about 60 MPs who have now spoken up in support of him, slightly ahead of Boris Johnson. But the two are about tied. And we have to understand that there are 357 MPs. So between these two, we're talking about 60 each. And again then, to add to that number of about 120 we get who have publicly declared themselves either for uh, Rishi Sunak or Boris Johnson in about equal numbers, about 20 have uh, supported uh, Penny Mordaunt and she's the first to have come up publicly to say that she will contest. That still leaves about 200 Conservative MPs who have not quite declared their position and there's a lot to play for. But clearly, uh, Rishi Sunak is on a roll. Intense negotiations are underway, as they would be to figure out what combination works, what arrangement works. This is a relatively small number among which this game is being played. And it is a political game of numbers, really, and who expresses loyalty to whom, with expectations of something in return, needless to say. But Rishi, certainly, in spite of this very fluid mess is currently in the lead. He is in a very promising position at the least. All right.